I wanted to talk to you about a video, video marketing campaign that's been making a lot of headlines lately called Science It's a Girl Thing. You are a scientist. My first question to you is, could you tell us a little bit about your background in science? Sure. I uh, was a lab scientist working at the bench doing research for 20 years. I uh, have a PhD in genetics. Uh, studied at Cold Spring Harbor Labs with a Nobel laureate, Dr. Barbara McClintock, an amazing woman. So what was your first reaction to the video, Science, It's a Girl Thing? My reaction was I got excited. I liked the music. I liked the powder, the lipstick. Uh, cosmetics and the chemistry of cosmetics are very interesting to me and probably to many chemists. And I liked that they showed women uh, writing equations and doing things like picking up the goggles, you know, because it's transforming who does the science, you know. We, we wear glasses in science for, uh, <laughs> you know, for safety and just to see things. And it was like, uh, you know, it's still cool, even if you put on your glasses and get down to it. So I, I really liked it. So were you surprised by other people's mostly negative reactions to the video? At first I was so shocked, and then I started to think about it, and I was like, oh, this uh, it's almost like a hysteria of advertising, you know, like this exciting advertising. I liked it. And I went straight to their site, and I liked their site. So what does the site that accompanies the controversial video contain? I think maybe a lot of people haven't been checking that out, but uh, what does it have? It's great. It has uh, some videos about young women in science, like showing what they actually do in the lab, how they um, identify genes, how they travel to foreign countries to do research. It has some sort of a playful texture that's interesting and modern that looks to me like the kind of things that I would see geared to a younger age group of women. So it's a very big resource site. Their Facebook site also I love. I went there and liked it the same day. Do you think a lot of the criticism is because the women in the video are beautiful and young and wearing makeup? Maybe, you know, but I'll tell you, when I was a girl and I was looking into careers, I looked into jobs in cosmetic companies to see, like, well, if I went to science, what kind of job would I have? And there were, like, positions at L'Oreal or Revlon, or these were coveted jobs. You know, the makeup industry is one of the things that, that you think of as a job source when you're a chemist. I still, like, I, I read the labels on my makeup, I read the labels on my bath things, and I know what those words mean, and that I like that. I was surprised to hear that so many people didn't like it or didn't like to see young women looking beautiful and wearing nice clothes and makeup when they were in their advertisements. If my daughter were in that ad, I should want her to look nice as well. Well, yeah, and I, I am your daughter, yeah. and uh, I'm an actor, and yeah. I could very well do something like that, like be in a video like that, and that doesn't mean that I'm not intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> and I would really hate to think that all this backlash might uh, get to the ears of a young woman who was in that video or who watched that video and liked it, and for them to feel rejected. Like, welcome your sisters in. It's, it's, science is a great career. I love science. It's a, it's a great thing to understand the world around you in detail that has to do with little things that science studies. And I think we should welcome all of our sisters in. Welcome the beautiful ones. Welcome anyone who's interested. Welcome all of them. So if you had one thing to say to young girls who about pursuing science and might be considering pursuing science, what would you say? I would say men can't keep you out of science as a woman. The question is, how are you going to get into science? What would you recommend as a good first step for getting into science? Work in a lab, choose wisely, but a stint in a lab really can can pique your excitement. It can also let you know if you're good with your hands. If you're not good with your hands, you can forget about science. You know, it's, a, it's very much a craft. So I think go in there and try it out and see, you know, if you like it. So if you can, try a little uh, rotation in a lab, like as a student. If you do one course that's uh, research, that's how I got I was 19. I started working in a lab. I didn't get out until 20 years later. I liked it. Well, it's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the questions, and I'm glad to say something good about uh, the program that the U EU's got. I really like their website, and I hope more girls will find that science is their thing. It's a great place to come and play. Come play.